more than 65,000 COVID-19 tests performed statewide on Saturday and yesterday. 515 came back positive. That's about 0.78%, the lowest number for that category since the pandemic started. Seven more deaths, unfortunately, still had to be reported uh, yesterday. The Yates County Sheriff's Office is investigating a horse and buggy accident it happened around 5 o'clock last night in the town of Jerusalem. The seven family members, including a seven month old baby, were all thrown out of the carriage that they were riding in after it hit a car. Syracuse police investigating a deadly hit and run. The incident happened around 1:40 yesterday afternoon or yesterday morning, excuse me, in the 1400 block of West Genesee Street. Police say a car hit 33-year-old Paris Bidding, killing her. Detectives say the driver, 24-year-old Justin McGann, drove away from the scene and left his car near the intersection of Erie Boulevard West and West Genesee Street. Police later found the car and they found him. In Cayuga County, you can expect delays on State Route 90 for a paving project. The road work there will impact north and southbound lanes from King Ferry to the village of Aurora. Drivers are asked to slow down or move over in work zones. The project is expected to be complete by August 20th. And the State Department of Health has been reviewing submitted reopening plans for school districts and will be notifying them of their status starting today. Districts also now busy putting up clearly on their websites information on their plans for testing, tracing, and remote learning. They got that assignment from the governor on Friday. That all needs to be done by the end of the week. Now let's, uh, no, oh, one more. New York State hunting. I thought we had, uh, we're running out of time there, Kate, but we got time for this one here. New York State hunting and trapping licenses go on sale today along with deer management permits. With a license, you can hunt from September 1st into April. These are valid all the way to the end of August next year. Remember, first time buyers need to pass at least one course to buy a license due to COVID 19. DEC is actually offering online courses that will fulfill this requirement along with in person options.